Foreign Secretary Harsh Vardhan Shringla is on a two-day visit to Nepal. He met with the President Bidya Devi Bhandari, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli and the Foreign Minister Pradeep Gyawali. On his maiden visit to Nepal, Sri Lanka, uh, Shring, Shringla was welcomed by his Nepalese counterpart Bharat Raj Podia. We have a very strong relationship. Our endeavour will be to see how we can take that relationship forward. I would like to thank the Government of Nepal, Foreign Secretary, for the warm hospitality extended to us. We have some very good meetings ahead of us and we will look forward to how that goes. The two leaders are expected to discuss wide-ranging areas of bilateral cooperation. This comes after a bitter border row between the two sides. Tomorrow, he is expected to inspect three schools built under Indian assistance at Gorkha, the epicenter of the 2015 earthquake and also hand over COVID-19 related support to the government of Nepal before wrapping up his two-day visit. For more on this, joining us live on the broadcast is our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhan Sibyl. Siddhan, this visit coming at a very crucial time, uh, just weeks after India and Nepal have seen uh, tensions regarding uh, the uh, political map also uh, that uh, had seen the two sides engaging uh, in uh, that uh, friction. But this is an outreach that's been made by both the sides uh, in order to find common ground. Well, yes, Molly, Molly, this is a significant visit uh, from the Indian side. In fact, uh, this is the third major in-person visit from New Delhi to Kathmandu. We know that uh, Raw Chief and the Indian Army Chief have already been uh, to uh, Nepal, to Kathmandu. And this, of course, uh, uh, is uh, the uh, the visit with, which has seen the top Indian diplomat visiting Kathmandu. And, of course, there were foreign secretary level talks between two sides. This is something that the Nepali side wanted since many, many months. What what makes this visit significant is that it is coming in the backdrop of uh, uh, the border row when Nepali government came out with a map which showcased uh, Indian territories as Nepali territories and India had uh, strongly reacted to it. In fact, India was irked by it, uh, calling it a cartographic assertion, something that India will never, never accept. By and large, the conversations have happened between the foreign secretaries of both the sides and the key focus from the India, Indian side was, of course, uh, uh, the development uh, projects India is part of in Nepal and primarily focusing on the connectivity project. Uh, but remember, this Despite the, the border row, India made sure that no people-to-people -people, uh, relationship were impacted between the two countries. In fact, even during the lockdown uh, by both sides, by the Indian side and by the Nepali side, India made sure that all the necessary requirements which Nepal wanted in terms of trade were fulfilled and that was something that India was very conscious of. But largely, we know that there is an increased Chinese influence in Kathmandu. That is something that has been the talk of the town in Kathmandu, here in Delhi as well. In fact, in Kathmandu, we saw how the political uh, problems uh, in the the country uh, within the government itself uh, saw the Chinese envoy herself being involved. That was uh, something uh, of a scandal in the country and that is something that worries New Delhi and that is why we have seen these visits as well given the fact that India does understand an increased Chinese influence in Nepal is a worrisome factor. We have seen already that the, the, the Chinese side are trying to increase their influence. Absolutely on, on and the, uh, like we said this is a meeting uh, which has far reaching implications uh, for uh, the relationship between the two sides. We're going to leave it there for the moment Siddhant. Thanks very much for those updates. We'll, of course, keep going back to our uh, principal diplomatic correspondent for more on that. Moving on for now, the Afghan presidential palace has rejected any progress in the peace negotiations.